Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagam Radian here in Doha, Qatar. We're recovering the Doha International Maritime Defense Exhibition and Conference, DIMDEX 2018. Our coverage here is sponsored by DIMDEX 2018, and we're honored to have with us the chairman of DIMDEX, uh, Staff Brigadier C. Abdul Baki Al Ansari, uh, who is of the Qatari Emery Naval Forces. Sir, thanks very much. You're the busiest man here, and uh, so we appreciate you taking some time with us. Thank you very much. First of all, I would like to, uh, to thank you for being with us and for this uh, interview, especially from your agent. Um, I, I really appreciate it, and we, we thank you very much for the support and, and for the sponsorship. Let's start out. Um, this is the sixth uh, show. Yeah. It's the 10th anniversary you guys are celebrating. Talk to us a little bit about the role of this conference and how it's grown over the years. Okay, so I'm, I prepared to, to start from the beginning. We started this show at, to, in, at, in 2008. It was the first edition. And the goal was to promote that time to promote Qatar, and the same in the same time, okay, because Qatar armed forces are always trying to improve their capabilities. It's good for us, you know, to have the big company or big industry to be in Qatar, okay, to just to have a, give opportunities for our uh, military people to show to see this product, the latest product in Qatar, but w by the time, okay, this was been also that we had another goals because. Uh, also, we try now to have our own industry, our own, you know, development. So now, as you see, uh, it's been signed, you know, too many JVs with the big, com big companies over the world, like a new from the US, from the Turkey, and more than that, and can more to come also as well. Uh, so we started in 2008 with only 65, uh, 85 exhibitor. Now we end up with the. So in the sixth edition, with well, more than 180 exhibitors, which is a big jump from with the very to me, you know, comparing with the other show, it's a big jump. Uh, within only 10 years to have this number, the growing is very, very good, more than 200 person, which is that's mean the trust of the exhibitor, the trust of the uh, big companies uh, of the economy of Qatar, investment in Qatar, which is get give a good reflect for the Qatar as well. And uh, by the time, you know, uh, we have now also in, in terms of num number of the uh, delegation, also it's been increased, massive increased. Let me say that. Compare, I always, when I, I say that, I'm comparing with the old show, you know, which is older than us, maybe 10 or 20 years. Now, this time we have more, uh, more than 83 delegations. Okay, we have uh, Minister of Defense, Chief of Staff, Chief of Navy, uh, of uh, Defense Industry, Head of Defense Industries from the many, many countries. In total, exhibitor and delegation, it's around 60 countries, which is, a, which is a, to me, is a good, a big improvement. Um, and it's a, a very, very smooth running show. I mean, all the pieces that sometimes uh, exhibitors or attendees look at, you know, the badging went smoothly, entry goes, uh, has gone very smoothly, and the show is well organized. Talk to us now, there is uh, a regional crisis going on between Qatar and Saudi Arabia and, and its allies. How important is this show at this moment from your perspective? Yeah, uh, thank you for this question. Uh, because the blockade and because the situation, uh, this show can prove to the blockade countries, okay, they, they, they can prove that, that because of the number of the countries who participated, that nobody, of, nobody of them convinced about the reason for this blockade. And it's very obvious, no need to talk about it. The number of countries, the number of delegation, which is here, that's mean nobody, everybody are knows that now the position of God, politically and economically, this is the my um, One of the, uh, you know, you mentioned the importance of the role of the country, uh, oh, excuse me, the, the role of the conference in the national industrialization policy. Almost every one of the countries uh, has a focus on that. You in particular, uh, a lot of it is tied to the 2022 World Cup that, uh, that uh, will be here in Doha. Talk to us a little bit about all of the programs that are being adopted, whether on the Navy side, given that this is a predominantly Navy uh, conference, and how you're working to absorb this technology. There's an enormous amount of technology that's coming. There's a massive naval uh, modernization program, a massive air modernization program, as well as a ground modernization program. Talk to us about how the Qatari armed forces are working to absorb all of this technology. Of course, uh, as any armed forces, for 
if we're in basic way, okay, looking for the improvement there still. But in particular, Karat Qatar now, we're because we have a big event in Qatar, and also in the same time, we are looking for the latest technology to improve. Our. We have to to adapt ourselves with the other nation. Uh, they we have now, we, especially in the, in the in the navy, we are we have now changing our roles to the to, from the brown uh, brown water to the blue water ocean. We have now uh, uh, the treaty with the al allied with the with the other countries. That's that's why we need. Uh, new capabilities to be in, in, in particular the Navy and Qatar Armed Forces. That's why Qatar now try by with the Demdex, okay, to just to find out more partnership, uh, try to also transfer the technology here, okay, and to be also the development of the uh, to update our also our uh, our armament, okay. You know this is the change uh, now the technology has been changed. You have the softwares also need to be updated every time. That's why try Qatar try to have these capabilities or these facilities here at home just to, to, to absorb all these things. Um, and let me ask you one last question. There's a very, very large Turkish delegation here. Uh, in no, al almost all of Turkish industry is here and also at a very, very senior level representation. Uh, Turkey and, and Qatar have a very close relationship. How is, important is it to you to have such a large Turkish component here? As you mentioned, the largest pavilion is the Turkey. We have the big delegation of course. Because of the First of all, the, the, the Turkish political uh, side, we've been with the Qatar side. Uh, now we have too many programs running with the Turkey. That's why Turkey are looking for the investment, strategic partnership with Qatar. And it's already been started since a long time ago and increased during the situation of that time. I'm expecting also more del more com Turkish company to be they will be here. and by the way already they booked for the <laughs> for the for the coming edition. Uh, that of course, let me also mention another thing because the second largest pavilion is U.S. also. Uh, you know because of the late the last uh, treaty been uh, or the last uh, agreement has been uh, signed with the Qatar uh, between U.S. and Qatar. Also, this one the, the result of this. Uh, Increase, we increase the number of the participation of the U.S. also. So we have too many big companies from the big European European countries. But uh, as you notice, the the, the, the the countries we have like special or strategic relation, we have more exhibitor and more stronger participation. And uh, you're uh, a precise uh, Navy man. Uh, your eye, you have an eye for detail. Uh, what are the changes that you're already thinking about for the next uh, show as you go around and talk to everybody? Okay, for the next show, it's just the change will come from our side. It's so that the name of the show is Maritime. We are, we we when start the this show, we was focusing on Maritime, because but we try to have other branches with us. And you can you can notice with you walking through the show, you see you see the land assets, right. the land assets and uh, air defense and that stuff. Because these assets nowadays, Qatar Armed Forces need it, and also the joint operation, you cannot separate the the, the branches from each other. That's why. We have other branches, and also for the for the companies or for the exhibitors looking for the investment, particularly with Qatar. Okay, they can they can come here and uh, showcase their products. That's why uh, now we try to for the next one we try to extend to communicate the three services of them. <laughs> Sir, thanks so much. We thank really appreciate much. it, and look thank forward to staying in touch. And hopefully, we'll be here at the next Dimdax. Yeah, thank you very much, and looking forward to see you again. Thank you. Sir. <laughs>